What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you how to solve this trig equation or trigonometric equation. Here we have sine squared theta plus 2 sine theta minus 3 equals to 0 and theta must be between 0 and 2 pi. So first of all I'm going to solve this quadratic equation by factoring method. So we're looking for two numbers, multiply to negative 3 and add to positive 2. These two numbers are going to be 3 and negative 1. When you multiply it, it's going to make it negative 3. When you add it, it's positive 2. So that we have sine squared theta plus 3 sine theta minus sine theta minus 3 equals to 0. Then I need to solve it by group factoring. Here we have sine squared theta plus 3 sine theta. I factor sine theta because that's the GCF. And here we have sine theta plus 3. And here we have sine theta plus 3 equals to 0. Then we have factor sine theta plus 3. And here we have sine theta minus 1 because I factored sine theta plus 3 from these two sides and here I have sine theta minus 1 which you separated like that. So now it is in factored form and you need to solve it. The multiplication of two expressions equals to 0. It means that either this one is 0 or this expression equals to 0. Why? Because you know 0 times any expression is 0. The second one is sine theta minus 1 equals to 0. First one, when you isolate it, when you solve it for sine theta equals to negative 3. Here sine theta will be equals to positive 1. Then here, as we had it many times before, you know the range for sine and cosine functions is from negative 1 to positive 1. Meaning that the answer to sine and cosine cannot be more than 1 or cannot be less than negative 1. So negative 3 is not possible and there is no solution because it's less than negative 1 and here we have sine theta equals to 1. We know when theta equals to pi over 2 sine pi over 2 will be 1. So this is going to be the only answer to this trigonometric equation. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave more related examples and playlists in the description. If you need more help or you want to have more practice questions, take a look to the description. You can also subscribe this channel to have access to many other videos regarding math and science. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and have a great day.